Hey, what up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Fred. Okay, straight up. Question number four of the just concluded um, YEC 2023. All right. So now the question says um, the sketch in Figure Five below, or rather in Figure Five, shows a circle of diameter 40. So there's a circle of diameter 40. Positioned at 45 degrees to the horizontal line, center line of another circle of diameter 140. So this circle has a diameter 140, okay, and it is positioned at an angle. This circle is positioned at an angle 45 degrees, okay. So we are required to plot the locus of point P, this point P, as the smaller circle rolls over the circumference of the bigger circle for one revolution. So this smaller circle rolls over the circumference of the bigger circle for one revolution. We are to plot the locus of the point P. So, um, no question, this is an epicycloid, okay? When a circle rolls over the circumference of a bigger circle, it is called an epicycloid, all right? So, let's start with the construction. So, the first thing you do is um, you stretch the radius of the bigger circle. So, if the diameter is 140, the radius will be 70 because seven plus, 70 plus 70 is um, 140. So, that's 7 in centimeters. So, let me zoom this in a little bit, okay? Now, stretch 7. And there I have my seven. All right. So draw the circle. With a thin line. Thin line, not thick. So when you're done doing that, now draw the radius of the circle. So position, align your ruler in this form and um, to the center of the circle. And draw a line. There's no point drawing the diameter. We just need the radius to work with. So draw the radius, that's the radius, thin line. All right, so get your 45 degree set square. So align your 45 degree set square with this line here. Okay. Support with your ruler. All right, and slide until you get to the center of the circle at this point. And draw a line from this point up, thin line. All right, so you may as well um, extend the line if it's not long enough okay so that's it now what we're going to do next is draw the smaller circle so remember this angle is um 45 degrees all right so now let us draw this other circle here so we're told the diameter is 40 so that means the radius is 20 so I'm going to stretch 20 or rather 2 centimeters as the case may be. So this is, um, I've got 2 cm here, okay. Then I will needle at this point. So remember this is your point P. So this is the point P. Alright. So I'm going to needle on this point P with my 20, don't forget this is 20. And cut this line at this point here. And that gives me the center of the circle. So with this same 20, I'm going to needle on this point here. And what describe the circle. So I'm going to describe the circle, thin lines. So there you have it. So after drawing the circle, sorry, let me make this part. All right. So the next thing you do is to divide the circle into 12 equal parts so you can either use this method uh, pair of using your pair of compass same radius of the circle to do that or you can use your set square so before i do that let me first of all drop a perpendicular at the center of the circle so align your set square with this line and adjust to the center of the circle and draw another diameter perpendicular to the first one you drew like this so, turn, we're not going to divide the circle into 12 equal parts. So, while your ruler is, your, is still in position like this, align your set square in this form, draw this thin line, turn your set square in this form, draw thin line, position your set square like this, Draw thin line. 
and um, adjust to the other side and draw a thin line. So we have divided the circle into 12 equal parts. So this, we're not going to label it, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 11. Okay, so I've done that up to 11. Now, same zero is also 12, so comma 12, all right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is um, I'm going to use the circumference of the circle, okay? I'm gonna look for the circumference. So you can use, you can either calculate the circumference, okay, and um, locate the point on this outer uh, big circle, or you can use the approximate method, which is uh, your best bet. So what you do is, stretch any of the divisions okay either from 0 to 12 sorry about that my pair of compass is quite very tight okay so you need to stretch 0 to 12 or 1 to 2 they are all the same divisions okay so step of 12 equal division 1 two, three, four, five, up to 12. Okay, so I've done that, divided up to 12, okay? So the next thing we do now is, um, we're gonna draw arcs using this, so this is center O from the question, so let's call this O. So I'm going to needle on O, and I'm going to stretch to the center of the circle. So let me call the center of the circle C. All right? So needle here, stretch up to the center of the circle, and draw that first. Draw an arc all the way down. Thin lines. All right? I hope that's clear. Now, I'm going to stretch to 6. I will draw an arc. I will stretch to 7. If I'm drawing the arc, 7 and 5 will coincide. Okay, 8 and 4 will coincide, 9 and 3 will coincide, so this is what I'm talking about, so stretch to 6, so this is 6, draw an arc, I hope you can see that very well, okay, so stretch to 6, draw an arc, alright, thin lines, stretch to 7, Okay, so this seven, seven and five will coincide like I told you, and draw an arc. Stretch to eight. And draw an arc, so eight and four will coincide. So keep doing that, stretch to nine. And draw an arc nine and three will coincide. Don't confuse nine arc nine three with the center arc, they are different. So do that for 10, 11. Okay, so I'm done drawing all the arcs. Okay, 11, 1, 10, 2, 9, 3, center. Don't forget that 8, 4, 7, 5, and 6 alone. We already did for zero, that's part of the bigger circle. So I'm going to radiate lines from point O through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 12. So I'll draw lines, that's from point O, thin lines through 1. I'll draw lines to, through the divisions 2. Thin lines, please. Through 3. From O through 4. From O through 5, up to 12. Okay, so I'm done with the whole of that. I've radiated, um, radiated um, line. So let me zoom this in a little bit so you see what I'm going to do next. Okay, so now this is the center. Now we are these radiated lines. Cut the center arc, not line, not arc 9-3, no. This center arc, all right? Now I've actually done a video on, uh, I, I did, I've actually done a video on epicycloid that I've uploaded, so you can go check it out as well, okay? So we're just doing it for the sake of, um, for the purpose of the um, examination question. All right, so this center line, so this is C. So this point where this radiated lines 
um, all of the radiated lines intersect the center arc now becomes C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, up to C12. So there we have it, up to um, C12. Okay. Now, what we'll do next is you stretch the radius of the circle, which is what? Two. Or better still, come over here, needle on the center, stretch to the circumference. And that's it. So stretch radius. So once you're done with that, remember the epicyclode starts from O and ends here at 12. All right? So now with this radius, now we have our first point here already. So go to C2. Remember, don't put it on, don't need it on line, I'm um, sorry, arc 93, no. The center line. So this point of intersection, C1, needle on C1 and cut arc 1 so this is arc 1 remember arc 1 and 11 they are the same 2 and 10 they are the same 9 and 3 they are the same so this is for arc 1 cut now it's intersecting at this point now we'll go towards C2 and cut towards arc 2 this is arc 2 cut we have this point. Go to C3. And cut what? Arc 3. That is 9 and 3. Don't cut this center arc. That's an error. Don't do that. So cut arc 3. This arc. So this is 3. Keep doing that. 4. This is arc 4. 5. Sorry, sorry. Um, I'm, not supposed to, I'm supposed to needle at this center line, not the edge. So, you see, you could make such a mistake. So, be very, very careful. So, let me do that again. 4. So, I'll have to erase this. So, that's it. So you go to 5, this is arc 5, Six we give will be on the top here, we'll be at the top here, so that's 6 already. Now watch how I turn, 7, so now you see at 7, don't cut, because this is line 7, 5 and 7 are on the same arc. Okay, so when you needle on seven, dot cut on this side, no. So you are moving like this. So seven, you cut it on this other side, your right hand side. Eight. So this is line arc eight. Four and eight, they're on the same arc. Nine. Once again, do not, let me adjust this a little bit. Once again, don't make the mistake of cutting the center arc, no. Cut nine, arc nine and three. Ten. Um, this is arc ten. Eleven. This is arc eleven. And twelve already, we've already located it, that's twelve. So we have these points. So we're going to use a curve, either a French curve or a flexible curve or a broomstick even to connect the epicycloid. All right, so this is what you should get at the end of the day. All right. So these are the steps and how to go about constructing an epicycloid. All right, thanks for watching. Um, hit the subscribe button and um, hit the like button as well if you haven't done that already. I will come your way again with more solutions um, to this um, just concluded YEC um, technical drawing questions. Do have a nice day.